Hey, so you can ask back again. Oh yeah, I'm back in. I'm on a roll, man. I'm on a roll. Back again with Lubuntu 11.10. Yeah, Lubuntu. Open box, you know, even lighter than XFCE. Because XFCE is not too light these days, but it runs really nice on most things. But Lubuntu, by our old mate Les. Hi, Les. Gang down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's really, really light on resources and everything else. Runs open box, as you well know. So it's really basic. But if you've got an old machine and you want this the Ubuntu base, this is the one to go for. Remember, Ubuntu is based on Debian anyway at the end of the day. So this is what we get. So we get. I've actually changed the wallpaper to this nice little moth thing here. Very nice indeed. Usual over here, you've got your shutdown time, network and sound. Oh yes. Right, if we go down to our menu over here, you'll see we just get very, very little here really. It's all down to you to install the rest. So if you've got somebody who doesn't know nothing about Linux, might not be a good idea because there's no software center either, okay? So under accessories, we have archive, character map, disk utilities, a file manager, a gigaletter, and image viewer, leafpad, LX terminal, and XPad. XPad. There's a distro called XPad, you know? I'll, I'll do it again for you now. Uh, games is all these basic ones. Really, 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 really. So although Penguin Free Cell, you'll see what I mean. They're all the basic ones, but they work. You can put on whatever you like, and they'll pass the time, won't they? Under graphics, all you get is a document viewer, empty paint, and a simple scan. Light like simple scan, so it's simple. Chromium is your default browser here. Pigeon. Slyford for your mail. I like Slyford, but you can install Thunderbird if you so wish to do so. And transmission for your torrents if you're doing torrenting. Abbey Word and Numeric as standard, and Osmo as well. So we'll go to Abbey Word just quickly to see what version it is when it decides to open, like then. The bad Abbey Word. It's only 286. If possible, try and get the latest one, which is 291 at the moment. We're nearly getting to number three. Oh, we're nearly there. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, sound and video. Audacious, known player, GVC for your webcamming, so no cheese here. XF burning for CD and DVD burnings, and XVID cap, which I installed myself. Now, let's see if it works for a start, shall we? XVID cap works. I likey, likey, super duper. Remember, you can get record my desktop or record it now. And there's quite a few others out there at the moment, or you can do it from the command line using WFMPEG, whichever you want to do. But, but just if you're not going to do a screencast or anything like that, you just want to capture your screen now and again, XFID cap, and record my desktop, uh, will do you what you've got to do, basically. Okay. Right, as I said before, there's no software center. No, not like the others, no software center here. You get Synaptic Package Manager, manager even. There's probably Tiles people ask you where in. You just get Synaptic Package Manager to install your stuff. Now, it's really easy to do. It will get normally all your dependencies for you, okay? So, no big deal. So, if we go to search, I'm not going to install this. I'm just going to see if it's in the repo, which I know it is. Open shot, of course. And there we are. 1.4.0.1, latest and the greatest. Thank you very much indeed. So if you do a bit of video editing, you can be done. But obviously, if it's a really old machine, it's going to take quite a lot of time. And the fan's going to be going all, all the time. Don't forget, you need Blender here as well. Super of the dupery. The best way to get open shot, though, is via a PPA. But so you can install it from there or get the PPA. All depending on what you're using your machine for, really, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to quickly go and open Chromium. Chromium, yum, 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 yum. Just had a bit of me tea, hang on. Mmm. A bit of Kenyan today, super duper. So, what do we want? We're going to go to the Lubuntu page. It's already there. There you go, I've been there before just to make sure it all worked before. Lovely. Now, I'm not going to do too much on Lubuntu because Les has done a lot of tutorial videos using his screencasting and stuff anyway. Yes, they're in English and German. He's done more in German, I think, but I can't actually remember. I've not been to see his page for a little while. I must go and have a butcher to see what he's done recently. But on here, there is lots and lots of stuff that you can have a look at. It's an auto starts, the update manager. He's done lots and lots of stuff. So I go to the second page, we'll have another look. The changing your panel layouts, multi monitor tips and tricks. Also, if you get the video from here, you can have it in different formats as well. Okay, different formats as well, which you may like. Oh, you may not like. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, super duper. Remember, you will have to install the restricted extras if you want to have Flash and everything else. I'll show you what I mean. If I quickly go back to Synaptic again, put my password in again. I mean, some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, and you may not have clicked it correctly as you've done it. So if we go to... We, I forgot to spell now. Restricted... 
boosters. I do. I'm going to wait for it to have a look at open. And there we go, the, the Lubuntu Restricted Extras. So if we open it up, as you can see, you get your DVD playback plugins, Lame, Microsoft fonts, which you have to agree to the stuff for, don't get Java runtime. Remember, all depending where you live in the world, you may not be allowed to watch your DVDs, your own ones that you've bought, on your computer. Well, a tush. Yes, but if you want to, and you're allowed to in certain countries, like in Europe and places like that, you can install a Liber DVD CSS2 via the command line, which would be nice and hunky-dory. But basically all you do is just tick the box, it'll download, it's around about, ooh, about 60 to 90 megs of stuff, I suppose, I can't actually remember it right now, and it'll do all you need to do. I'll just change the desktop before we finish. This is a really, really quick one, by the way, because he's done so many already, so I'm not going to bother doing too much, really, eh? And there we go. Lubuntu. So, if you've got an older machine and you want to run a Ubuntu-based distro on it, Lubuntu is the one. 11.10 is a lot better than 11.04, I must admit. I had a real, real problems with 11.04 for wireless and stuff like that. It just wasn't doing it for me. But it all seems to be ironed out in this version. Super duper. That'd be really good when they get to 12.04, though, for the long-term release. Don't you think so? That'd be really, really good to have this for five years. Oh, yes, without having to change it. Super. Love it. So yeah, Ubuntu this time round has got really, really, really good and I like it a lot. Yes, a lot. You can do most things you want with it. You can do everything you want with it, really. And if you put it on a new machine, woo, Warp Factor 10, sir. Lovely juggling. Sneaking Link is going to give this one 98% this time round. A lot better than the last one. Just hope it doesn't crash enough to redo it, eh? Sneaky Linux going out. I see that is, by the way.